Hey guys and welcome back to Star Maid. This is Serge and I'm gonna start uh, doing a few ship reviews here on this channel and this will be the first episode of that so the way this is gonna work is um, we're gonna have uh, one ship or maybe two each episode and we're gonna go over it uh, for a couple of different things. We're gonna look at three major things per ship and I'm just gonna give you my own personal view so if you dislike what I say or you disagree leave that down in the comments below we can talk about it uh, so as far as it goes this is just my own opinion on these ships don't take any of it seriously if you don't wish to uh, be offended or whatever I don't really personally care but uh, if it is your ship that I'm reviewing please take everything I say with a grain of salt as it is just my opinion either way uh, the way this is gonna work is we're gonna look at three three important features we're gonna look at the ship's form, which is going to be my opinion of how good it looks, how cool its design is, and how interestingly it is built and how skillfully it is built. Uh, second, we're going to look at its function, what kind of function does it do, and how well does it succeed at that function. And the last one we're going to look at is its roleplay value, how good it is as a roleplay vessel. I'm not going to really look at function because function alone isn't just one thing. Uh, sorry, we're not going to really look at combat because that's going to be under function. If it's a combat vessel, we'll look at it as vessel, uh, how good it is at doing that function that is combat. If we look at a miner, we're going to look at how good it is at a miner, as being how good it is at being a miner, and so on and so forth. We're going to look at its function over specifically its combat capabilities. So as far as it goes, I've got myself a little base here set up on this planet, and we're going to return back to this planet after every episode, or at the beginning of every episode, maybe at both, to come check on these uh, ships that we're looking at. So up there, in our orbit, you can see the first ship I'm going to look at. That is the IST Calypso. I'm pretty well versed with this ship already. I've had a good look at it prior to doing this video. Unfortunately, I did do a video earlier and, uh, well, it didn't want to save, so I'm going to have to do this again. Either way, um, I've kind of given you guys a rundown. I'll give you a nutshell version of that every time. Uh, so this ship is uh, made by a gentleman by the name of Alexander the Great, or Alex, sorry, Alexandros T. Great, a uh, YouTuber who left a comment on my video uh, many, many years ago when I first made <laughs> that one video on my channel from all the way back then. And I promised him I'd do a review, and he will be the first one in getting a review on this. So, we're going to go have a look at his ship. Uh, let's jump in. Alright, here we go. So, first appearances. Uh, I'm not going to be able to really do a blind review on this, since I kind of know this already. But my first opinion on this is this. It looks cool. It's obviously some kind of alien ship. Kind of looks like it's a, a shard from an alien planet. Uh, or some kind of asteroid that's being carved uh, into the shape of a ship and filled with uh, systems and interior. So the turrets on this thing are a little lax. Uh, as far as I'm aware, these look like they're AMCs. I think they're really cool looking and they're like suspended as if they're not actually physically attached, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, I don't know. I, I, I like it. It just kind of like sticks up out of the actual ship. Ruins that smooth line it has. But in a good way, I guess, because if, as you saw down on the planet, the silhouette isn't ruined. These turrets here are quite powerful, as far as I've seen. I've tested it out a little bit. Uh, I'm getting a bit of lag. What am I getting lag for? My frame rate's only at 30. Anyway, so as far as you can see, the shield's there, as you can see. The shields are just shy of a million. It has pretty, it's pretty long, it's only just shy of 200 meters long. And uh, obviously not very tall, but it is quite wide uh, at 123 meters. So it's a good, good uh, ratio to mass. I haven't quite worked out what kind of ship this is. Uh, to me, it looks sort of like a destroyer. Uh, or some kind of like um, battleship. Uh, and so this is where this is where I'll start looking at this stuff. I can't quite off the top of my head work out what kind of ship this is. And this is where function is important because I want to I want to know what kind of function the ship serves. As far as I can tell, this is a combat vessel. It has a lot of weapons, 
a lot of weapons. So we're not going to look at function just yet. We're going to quickly talk about its 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 form. So as far as shape, shape. Ah oh man, I love the shape. This shape is cool. This shape looks like he intended it to make this awesome silhouette. Uh, especially since it's outlined in crystal. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the outline personally, uh, but it definitely works here. Definitely works because if you zoom right out, you turn off that HUD, that looks imposing. It definitely looks imposing, definitely looks alien. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice too is it is sort of asymmetrical. Uh, it is sort of completely symmetrical, top and bottom. There's some small asymmetry to it, uh, being that um, uh, viewing bay up the top there, which I think is meant to be a bridge. Uh, and down here you don't have that, instead you just have this kind of like uh, glowing pool of energy or something. Not a big fan of these little random ice cubes in there. Um, I suppose they're meant to be systems or windows or something. Um, looks very speckled. Definitely fits the alien build, but I don't know. Uh, again, this is just a, a, a thing I, I, I don't like about it. Um, things I do like and don't like sort of at the same time is these planet terrains being used as hull. That's really cool on a design front because you get to play around with a lot more textures and colors and it definitely fits the whole RP factor that it is sort of a chunk of an alien planet. But uh, the bad news is, is it means as soon as you lose your shields, those are gone. And underneath those, yeah, underneath those are systems. That's that's not going to do you good in combat. I mean, the good news is, is you've got a lot of got a lot of shields, so it's going to be hard to take away your shields. And I believe that the ship here yeah, has a 50% bonus on ion effect. Yeah, so you get 50% bonus to your shields, so that's pretty nice. You end up with about uh, 1.5 million shields. Uh, problem is, though, that uh, that one lasts forever, especially against bigger ships or ships your size. Um, these floating cameras, I don't know whether they've been put there for uh, construction purposes, uh, but one thing I did want to do, and I want to show this if you're watching Alexandros uh, or anyone else who's watching, Little stuff like this. I like floating cameras personally. I think they're a good idea. Getting good vantage points, because you, if you have a look at this, uh, you go into the camera, you have a look through that back camera, and as you can see, that's a pretty good viewing angle. You can see the back of your ship, you can see where your turrets are firing at, and you also get to see forward, and if you start firing your guns now, yeah, that, that, that works pretty well. But one random camera just sort of floating back here doesn't make a lot of sense, so what I wanted to show you guys something that I thought of when I saw this. I never thought about using floating cameras in this way until I saw this, so I gotta give him credit there, Alexandros. But I just wanna show you an idea I had watching this. So, and this is gonna sort of play in the whole roleplay thing. I might do some sort of design demonstrations or how-to design sort of stuff, uh, but I, I'm not, I'm not really confident enough to say that I'm, I'm super great at it either. I do like to give off my own little like, examples from time to time though. So what I'm doing here is we got some, we got some hull, uh, purple hull, gray armor I guess, or gray hull, you can use whatever, and um, a pipe, a bit of paint, and a light rod. And now what was a camera that was just floating in space is now a little drone that follows the ship. And for roleplay, that works especially well, because that means you can have these pretty much anywhere. And you can design them however you like, make them as minimalistic or as imposing or as actual big and armored as you like. Uh, but that, looking at that now, that actually looks like something that's meant to be there. That was meant to be put there and in, in, in not just some random camera that's just floating there. So we're going to have a quick look inside the ship. Ooh, stuck inside the... Here we go, so inside is very important for the form as well. You got this main hall here, the core. Love this core, it looks very important. It's in a very important place. I imagine you'd built this before uh, pipes were a thing, uh, which obviously you definitely made good use of those pipes. Well, the, the, the paint cans as pipes, so I love that. I'm not a big fan of the uh, hazard stripes. It really clashes with the purple and the alien colors you've got going on here. See this? This is good. 
it's very um, not so so obnoxious like that is. Uh, I think that would have been good if you just left out a, a single color and left a strip there. Uh, defeats the whole alien, you know, effect. But uh, but that's I like that. I really do. I love the core the way it is in here. So there's a few other things I want to show you in here which I really like. Um, I don't know about the uh, these being downwards facing. Uh, unless you've got some really tall aliens that uh, live in here. But uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the port side and we're going to look in here. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. This is really cool. So uh, first and foremost, you've got your faction module, your Bobby AI, get some power levels. This is like a command bridge. I would, I would call this a command bridge. You got these seats. Very cool. Um, and you've got uh, this cool uh, holographic display, which I think that looks cool. That's a really cool effect you have in there. Uh, and in here, I've already removed one of these panels just to show that there are teleporters under this, which actually work, which allows you to move around. And that's actually how you get inside of the ship. And I'll show you that really quick. Uh, you get inside of the ship by entering in through this little uh, viewing platform up here, uh, which is quite interesting. You go up here, there's a plex door here stand on this and that's actually a teleporter and it teleports you inside of the ship so there's no actual doors inside the ship which I thought was quite interesting that's a very good idea especially it's a very alien thing isn't it you can't just get inside the ship by opening a door which that would be a very human thing to do uh, so having just uh, the teleporter to get in that was really cool not a big fan of this up here and um, I can understand, especially again in a PvP sort of aspect, that you'd want two levels of layers of doors there, but you could achieve the same thing, honestly, with just a, a slab put upside down, and then it's like a hatch. Uh, but I, I imagine that two levels of doors is a lot better than one, because then you don't have to worry about... Well, then you've got a little bit extra time to worry about people cutting through. Uh, very cool. There's no openings for weapons, except those missiles sort of holes at the back there. Uh, but that, in and of itself, isn't a problem because this is an alien ship. So, um, we're going to get back out of this core. I'm going to jump around to the starboard side now. And this is, this is, I thought, quite hilarious. So, right here, this is good use of some um, in-game assets to make it look and be used differently to what it actually is. I mean, as far as the game's aware, and most players, that's a weed. But adding this little bit of RP, this is cool. So it says, that purple thing on uh, that purple thing next to this sign is a life support console. The Argral Diarchy wishes you luck trying to figure out without suffocating in the process. <laughs> See, I think that that's that's funny. Like this, scary tentacles. I don't want that near any openings on my body, especially not my face. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be a dick here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull hairs. If it's a life support module, why wouldn't you tell them how to use it? Funny joke, definitely. But I don't know. If I'm dying and I come in here and I've noticed this already, there's this door here gets you into the uh, bathroom. Very cool use of a diagonal door there. I like it. Uh, but there is no no medical cabinets in here. So obviously for roleplay purposes, you come in here, you're dying, you're bleeding out. There's a life support module right here. You have no idea how to use it, so you suffocate. <laughs> I don't know. Just seems very counterintuitive to me. Um, but I like it. I appreciate the, the, the meta humor in there that's I like it uh, so we're gonna go back into the main hall here we're gonna try out these weapons uh, and we're gonna talk about function and RP so as far as form goes I gave it a four out of five for form the style on this thing is beautiful it looks like an alien ship and I wouldn't classify an alien ship quote-unquote as its function but as far as its appeal of what it looks like definitely meets that the uh, function, though, that's something I've had a little trouble nailing down because I imagine this is sort of like a warship. But I can't work out what kind of warship. Like, it's definitely a combat vessel with all the weapons it has. And as far as combat, yeah, it's quite capable. I wouldn't call it super powerful, though. So let's have a quick look at 
its weapon systems. It's got a cannon sniping attack with 99%, uh, which does a damage. Each shot does damage of, uh, what's that, 132,000 damage. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And that's times two. Uh, then you got these missiles. Uh, each There's only one missile per, per missile that does four. 160,000 damage which is pretty powerful as a missile and there's two of them and it doesn't seem to drain any of the power which is quite nice um, it has a cannon computer which is quite uh, regular has two lots of uh, it does 180 1890 damage per projectile so that works out to be um, 50,000 DPS, which is pretty capable. That's a pretty pretty beefy cannon there. So this thing, I'd imagine, would be able to take out ships much bigger than itself. It's an ion effect, which gives you 50% bonus shields, which is quite decent. And it has a jump inhibitor. So this is what threw me off. It has a jump inhibitor as well as a jump drive. The jump inhibitor isn't very powerful. Um, but it also has a very weak jump drive. So, if it's a hunter that hunts smaller ships, you would imagine it would need a bigger jump inhibitor. But if it's a hunter that hunts bigger ships, you would imagine it needs a bigger jump drive. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that's just me thinking, I guess, hypothetically about the situation. Uh, but I would imagine you'd want a bigger jump drive to hunt smaller ships. Um, or I'm, or the other way around, either or. I'm not sure what it wants to be here. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 for its function because although it's a very powerful ship it loses a lot of points because of its hull being made out of planet terrain and that alone is a big weak spot and not just one weak spot like hey, you reveal a little bit of systems on the on the ship that's okay that's cool i like having weak ship weak uh weak spots on my ships because it, if it gives you that little bit of extra like gotta be careful they don't hit me here because then i'm gonna die uh, but this thing's just speckled with weak spots this thing's literally can it's like it's got a disease of weak spots that's contagious all over it. Looks cool, don't get me wrong. Looks awesome. But very, very, very weak in, in, in the sense of um, you're going to shoot out. If you, a missile hits somewhere here, it's a lot of hull. It's just going to disappear once that shield's down. Uh, so I'm going to go to 3 out of 5. So 4 out of 5 for form, 3 out of 5 for function. Now, my RP score, that's going to be the one I'm most critical about because I'm not a big role player, uh, at least not in Star Maid, but I love role play in real life. I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, uh, any tabletop games that uh, I can find. I really like anything that's space uh, tabletop games, if I can find them. Uh, so at the end of the day, though, it's important to kind of tell a story, uh, show a purpose, have the ability to treat this like a ship that's very roleplay. Now, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 for roleplay because, uh, let's face it, it does a really good job at promoting this alien feel, making it seem like a very alien machine, which I think is very cool. And um, that's a pretty high score. I'm going to be very critical giving out 4s. I may not be able to give out a lot, a lot of those in the future, but... As far as it goes, I like this for roleplay. It definitely has the appeal of an alien ship. Definitely loses a few points for the fact that there's just some parts that are just a little too human, like hazard stripes uh, being used as hazard stripes. Um, very human sort of stuff, like teleporter pads obviously aren't superhuman, but, and this, this definitely isn't human. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's just got certain things about it that just, make the whole roleplay experience a little bit harder, especially those floating cameras. Like if you added that on there, that would definitely help the score, but I, I put that there. Um, yeah, I, I like it, I definitely do. Uh, so overall, um, let's take out my, my handy dandy calculator here and work out uh, what the average score for you is because I'm not very good at math. So you go four plus three plus four divided by three you're at, whoa, what did I do here? Oh, right, right, gotta work that out first. Now divided by three. So you get a 3.6 out of five as your overall score. And uh, honestly, I, I, I like this chip, I definitely do. Um, I think it looks amazing, definitely looks amazing. Nothing five out of five worthy, uh, in my opinion, um, but I don't even know any of my ships that I personally would give five out of five. 
uh, for looks. Um, but you know, the artist is most critical of their own work. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I, I definitely like this ship. I reckon there could be a little bit more work done to it. Definitely achieves, I think, most of what it sets out to do. Uh, and I really hope to see some more work from Alexandro Segrey. Um, hopefully he ends up watching this video because it was a very long time ago he messaged me. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you want your ships reviewed on my channel, please leave a message in the comments below with a link to your ship. Now, it's important you need to give me some way to access the blueprint of your ship uh, since I will, be able, I will need that. Uh, so upload it to the uh, community page and give me a link to that or uh, contact me inside of the game uh, in the starmade.com.au server. Uh, my name will be Serge, so contact me, uh, send me an in-game message, and we can meet up and you can exchange blueprints with me. So one way or another, I'd really like to um, see as many ships as I can out there. I want to do the score, and I might do this on a weekly or, or a bi-weekly, um, uh, at least twice a week probably. Um, I don't know what days I'll do yet. This is the first one I'm doing, and hopefully I can put out some more. I'm also accepting stations. I really want to see people's stations. Uh, but yeah, so this has been Surge w demonstrating and showing off and uh, criticizing, on, and I apologize for that, uh, the Calypso, the IST Calypso S. Uh, not sure. I'm going to call it the Destroyer. It looks like a Destroyer. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, leave a comment in the section below. Uh, give us a... Th thumbs up if you like the video give us a thumbs down because well that's an option if you want to and uh yeah if you haven't subscribed subscribe already and uh shill 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 and this is serge signing out